Hey guys, I'm Angie. And I'm Lou. We're Eat Sleep RV Repeat. And today we're going to do an unboxing for our bathroom stuff. She said it's not a re renovation. No. I called it a remodel. A remodel. She said it's not a remodel. It's so, a, a facelift. I guess. <laughs> sure. Um, yeah, it's not going to be a big project, but we do want to make a couple of changes. So, we ordered a ton of stuff on Amazon, bought a couple of things at Home Depot and Walmart, but we're going to do the unboxing of the Amazon stuff with you guys so that you know what to expect. Yep. So, what's first? I know, there's a box here. Okay, that's hard. It's Easy not, with a baby. It's not hard. <laughs> it just sounds like a box. So, yeah, there's a box there. Ah, Caesars. Yep. So, let's see. What's in here? We've just piled up all the boxes to open them up with you guys. I think I know what it is. You do? Mm -hmm. I don't even remember. I remember a couple of the items that we ordered, but not everything. That's because I did most of the orders. spray to waterproof the walls that are in there already right. um, and after you researched the lining and why did we decide not to go with that right <laughs> so yeah the lining is like a plastic uh, wall that you adhere to the wall that's there already mm -hmm. and most of the time when they sell it there's a there's a section on the top that it doesn't reach all the way to the top it could be as little as an inch and as little and sometimes up to five inches and so I read in some forums for travel trailers that do that, that the water sort of creeps under that little piece in between the roof, or I should say the ceiling, in between the ceiling and that little area. And that area is kind of important for venting, um, you know, to try to prevent mold from uh, in between the wall and that lining. So I decided to do more research and I came up with uh, Rust-Oleum's Never Wet and it's a two can coat thing but after doing more research uh it leaves like a milky grayish film on it and since we're painting the bathroom to spray that over it and then sort of change the color yeah, it's gonna diminish it. it wasn't great so i decided to go with this i started thompson's um water seal mm -hmm. and uh, it's clear and it's also a multi multi-surface waterproofer so we're gonna use this um throughout the bathroom. Probably the entire bathroom. Probably the entire the bathroom. Walls, the entire bathroom. Going back to the lining because she didn't finish the reason why. So even though that gap is there to prevent molding, eventually with time with water seeping to in. To prevent, not molding. That's what prevent, you said, to prevent. No. I said to prevent um, mold. Light, right. Not molding. <laughs> to prevent mold. So the humidity gathers um, in there. But anyways, even though it's to prevent mold, mold ends up happening because water starts to creep, creep in. in there and it stays in there and then eventually it creates mold and then that means we're going to have to remove the whole wall. Right. So, not a good idea. Right. So I think between uh, waterproofing it and then with a chamois drying it once we're done, just a quick wipe down, it's probably, in, in my opinion, the best steps we can take to keep the bathroom in the best possible shape. Okay, cool. So that's the first product. So we got two of the water seal. <laughs> Actually, I think that's an important one. So. All right. And it doesn't seem like it's a really difficult. Next one. Thing to do. I know what this is too. <laughs> Ta-da! What is, is that? DHB tape. Oh, okay industrial strength view. So we'll get back to the reason why we got this after another item. It's okay. in there, right? We ordered it? 
Yeah, I got ordered. I, okay. I, I guess it's here. I don't know. So, here. Uh, there's another item that this is going to go with. So we'll go over the reasoning for this one in a little bit. All right. So let's just put that to the side. All right. Next one. Super exciting. <laughs> da, 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 da. All right. He didn't say that he knew what this one was. Ah! Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to excite you. This, you can't tell what it looks like in this packaging. So I'll go ahead and insert a picture of it from Amazon here for you. Um, so this is the curtain that I decided to go with. Mm -hmm. Um... It's the exterior side of the curtain. It did come with little hooks, even though I don't think we're going to be using those hooks. We might, we, hey, maybe, I don't know. We ended up ordering hooks. I didn't realize it came with hooks. So this is a shower curtain design that I went with. I think it's going to be super cute. Um, it's going to go with my color scheme, and it's very out outdoorsy, don't you think? <laughs> they won't know. They, they are. Tell. I said I'm putting a picture of it here. Let me put it oh, again. Yeah, yeah, Here's yeah. a picture of yeah. <laughs> Covering our faces right. of that curtain. All right. So that's the curtain. So you're probably wondering how are we going to do that curtain because that doesn't go with what's in there. Um, we contemplated removing the curtain that's in there and just reupholstering it. Like you were going to, I don't remember what you said you were going to do. You were going to remove the sewing line oh, yeah, from the curtain the and then sewing. sew it on again. No, I was going to remove the sewing uh, part that it's got these little hooks that are sewed on, and I was going to put Velcro on it. Velcro on the rod that it has, or the, the track that it has, and then put Velcro on the curtain, and then we could sort of take the curtain off and on whenever we wanted to change it. Hmm. Not loving that idea. And then also, by putting in our own tension rod for the curtain, that's also going to allow for light to go into the shower. And if you remember from our first shower experience mm -hmm. video, one of the things that you didn't like is that light doesn't come through and it's pretty dark in there. One of the few things. I think yeah. it was probably the only thing I, <laughs> I liked the, I, that I thought was... Well, you can't give it away in case they haven't watched this video. They can go back and watch it. <laughs> so... All right. So next. All I'm right. guessing this is the tension rod because probably, of the right? size of the box. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, oh my, god. my god, seriously, Amazon, you always put the smallest items in the biggest boxes, although we've had smaller items in bigger boxes That's before. That's hilarious. That is really funny, and I do think this is the tension rods. Let's see. There you go. But, oh, okay. She's like, I'm done with the scissors. I may not need the scissors. This looks like it's... So, yeah, tension rod. Stainless steel? I guess. Yeah. Chrome, stainless steel. Rust proof, oh. alum, alu, alumi, aluminum. Aluminium. <laughs> Shower rod. <laughs> so, 30, 30 to 43 inches. Mm -hmm. Adjustable. So there we go. And I think we're 39. Okay. So. Well, that's perfect. Yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> I was ordering it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The final box. Seriously? Yeah. I feel like there's more things that are pending. Maybe there's multiple stuff in here. I think there's multiples in here. Good. Let's start with this one. Okay. So like that we can go talk about it. that other item. That, and I'll item. Which, just in case, it doesn't really look so good here. I'll go ahead and insert an image as well. So we're planning on putting this behind the door. Bathroom door. And that's where we're gonna go ahead and put in multiple storage things that would typically go in places like a medicine cabinet. Mm -hmm. We don't have a medicine cabinet in our bathroom, and we don't want to add more weight to the wall, not even knowing if it's going to be a good wall to put a medicine cabinet in since it's the back wall with no, all that nice stuff. No, it has studs. It has studs, but, you know, I'm like hyper alert with yeah. the weight in the yeah. trailer, so. And all the electric back there. Mm -hmm. 
So we're going to pass up on doing the electric wall. We're going to put this storage container, which has four slots, mm -hmm. like little cabinets almost. Cabinets. So one will be for all of the medications, vitamins, whatever, the typical stuff that goes inside of your medicine cabinet. Right. These other one could be all of Lou's toiletries, mm -hmm. the third could be all of my toiletries, mm -hmm. and the fourth for Lexi. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, we'll see what goes in the fourth. That is probably going to become the junk drawer. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> probably. I like the look. I think it's a good size. Um, and then, since we're not sure if that's the door is more like paneling or if it's an actual sturdy door, we decided to adhese it to the door with this type of tape yeah we're gonna adhere it to the door with um bhv tape bhv that's what this I is um uh, one inch wide and 15 in 15 feet long okay so since that's three feet we have more than enough okay. we are going to leave the corners slightly open so it can vent mm -hmm. uh, since it's a bathroom and there's moisture and stuff like that i want to make sure we don't get any molding behind that as well so that's how we plan to adhere it to. Yeah. We've heard, or I've heard from other research I've had, the BHB tape, you have to be uh, committed to where you're going to put it because it pretty much sticks forever. <laughs> so I'm hoping that's the case. Then awesome. I'll find it on the, on the floor. So I think this is a great storage solution that's going to look nice and tidy. It's not like the shoe ones that's just little pockets. Um, so I like the look of it. I, think I like the shoe nice. one. The only problem I was having with it is that most of the ones I was finding were clear. Mm. And so I didn't want to be put stuff in that you could see through and see yeah. what was there. And the other problem I was having is that obviously um, I was finding four rolls, right? Because you have a pair of shoes. <laughs> so I guess they were, you know, for two people. I wasn't finding a lot that were just uh, one pair, like two rolls going down. And the ones that I was finding that were like that, they were clear and I wasn't going to look very yeah, good. it's not going to look as pretty, you know, being able to see everything through instead of it being nice and concealed. Yeah, since those things are messy anyway. Yeah. yeah All right, yeah. so let's see what's this other box. So, so far we've got the wall, the shower curtain, and the door storage. Oh, yes. That's what that is. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you're going to be able to open it. Can you open it? If not, it looks like it might have to be assembled. It looks like it's going to yeah. have to be assembled, so there's no point in taking it out. So I'll go ahead and insert an image of this as well in here. And my reasoning for going with this instead of the regular, you can put that down, mommy, instead of blocking your face, instead of the toilet paper holder on the wall is because this is going to serve multi-function. We're going to be able to put the toilet paper there. We're going to put our baby wipe on the top part of it, the little baby wipes container. So in the bottom part that's to store toilet paper, we can actually stick a bag in there mm -hmm. and that could be our garbage can, all in one place. So one little nook and cranny of the bathroom will have the baby wipes, the toilet paper, and the garbage can mm -hmm. that's easily accessible. That was a brilliant idea, by the way. Yeah. I think it's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> I think so, too. I think so, so too. We have one more item. And... That is your hooks. Ah, okay. So then the hooks to uh, go ahead and put the shower curtain on. Which now I'm thinking I didn't realize that the shower curtain had his own hooks. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'll return these and get my money back. Or maybe I'll keep them. They weren't that much. They were probably like three or four bucks, no? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they definitely do look nicer than white plastic. And the curtain rod that we got is silver also. So mm -hmm. maybe I will keep them. So yeah, the rod's nicer. silver. Yeah, it'll tie in better. It's working. So, and the other thing we didn't bring in here to show you guys is that obviously, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we're going to paint. So, we went ahead and we bought some paint, primer and paint, for the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And um, we're gonna painting it white. Yeah. Pure white, I yeah. believe it was. Right? It's going to be pure white. Mm -hmm. And the Home Depot painting person did suggest not to buy the paint and primer and just use that. He suggested to prime first. Lou went with a piece of the material yeah, mm -hmm. so that he can feel it and see it. And after more evaluation, it actually is wallpaper. We were wondering if it was mm -hmm. wallpaper. It's wallpaper over some type of like particle board, something. Yeah, something like that. Um, so he did suggest priming it first. He said maybe two coats, at most three, but maybe two coats is enough of primer and then to do the paint. And the paint is a paint and primer also. Okay, why are you shaking your head? 
It's one prime. Oh, he did say. And two or three coats of paint. That's true. Because I rem that's <laughs> right. I did ask him if we needed to do a second coat. And I remember in my head visualizing that it wasn't going to look as bold. But yeah, it's one coat of primer. One coat of primer. Yeah. And then probably two, two coats three. of paint. Yeah. He said maybe three. Mm -hmm. And the paint is a paint and primer, so mm -hmm. it's kind of double duty, even though it already has the primer. Exactly. And yeah, we went with flat white. I think we did pure white. Pure white. <laughs> so yeah, satin. And instead of just getting a little quart for just the bathroom, yeah. I told you, let's just go ahead and get the big gallon. Mm -hmm. um, he told us how many square feet a gallon's going to cover. I think he said 250 square feet. <laughs> I don't know. I but it's way more than the space that we have in here. So I said, let's just go ahead and do the investment, buy it now, because that project's going to be coming up before we know it, and we can just use the same paint. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, but I think we're probably going to have to invest in another gallon. You think so? I don't know. I mean, I don't, if there's one thing I don't know much about is paint. <laughs> it's not my favorite thing in the world. So that's not something that I really know a lot about or that I'm looking forward to doing. <laughs> She's a painter. I like painting. She likes it. I like She's it. good. I find it very soothing. Um, so yeah, we got the prime, the primer. We got the paints, and then we ran over to Walmart to see if they had a better deal than Home Depot in terms of like the kit with the mm -hmm, the painting kit. Yeah, the rollers and they the tray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was like half the price of what Home Depot yeah. was. So we went ahead and bought it there. Obviously, you gotta cut corners sometimes. Yeah. And that's it. Those are the only items that are not in this unboxing, but it's still going to be part of the products for the bathroom, which is the next project. Mm -hmm. So not a huge project. We did mention, or I did mention in a previous video, that I wanted to change the shower head and the faucet in the bathroom. Uh, and I convinced did, her out of it. Yeah, she talked to me out of it. <laughs> um, I wanted to change it for aesthetic reasons, yeah. more so than functionality. It does work. There's nothing wrong with it. It's in great condition. Yeah. So she's like, really? We don't have to invest that money right now. It's really expensive. So fine. We yeah, I don't think that it's... Later, later on. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's necessary because it's working properly the way it should. It's... it's um, we've obviously tried it out already. And um, no one's going to see it. <laughs> Just us. Just us. Like, who is going to come in here and take a shower? Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> like, it's working properly. It's doing what it's supposed to do. It's in excellent shape. I don't think they ever took a shower in there, honestly. Yeah. I really don't. Yeah, when we bought this trailer, it looked pristine. With the exception of the little water damage, literally pristine, as yeah. if they've never camped in it before. Yeah, I think it sat a lot for some reason. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I, I, at this point, I think what we're doing is going to make the bathroom look awesome. Yeah, and if, a little. And then when you go to take a shower, you'll just have to deal with the... Uh, plastic faucet so the next project isn't gonna be huge you're gonna catch us painting you're gonna catch us sealing the walls you're gonna catch us taking off that shower curtain which i don't know how we're gonna do because it looks like it is stuck on that ceiling it's just like screws <laughs> on it okay putting on the curtain and um she already removed the toilet paper holder from the wall so obviously mm -hmm. we gotta putty that mm -hmm. and then put in our new one yeah. so that's an easy project Hopefully. But it'll come up in the next video. <laughs> Don't jinx it. Easy project. Easy project. <laughs> All right, guys. We hope you enjoyed this little unboxing. I know it wasn't anything out of this world, but I thought it would be fun to share. <laughs> if you did, uh, please give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below with your thoughts on the project that, or the items that we got or any recommendations that you might have. We love interacting with you guys. If you haven't subscribed, please do so now and click the notification bell so you can get notified every time that we upload a video. And that's it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye guys.